splash, splash, dripping. I need a cup of the aqua. We do not play about the dollars. I pop your mother and Pfizer. Yeah, yeah. Don't care for the just to get on up. Free for the fish, I'm a doctor. Switch on the sticks, I'm like water. Splash, splash. Dripping. I need a cup of the aqua. We do not play about the dollars. I pop your mother and Pfizer. Yeah, yeah. Don't care for the just to get on up. Free for the fish, call me doctor. Switch on the sticks, I'm like water. Honestly, I do appreciate everybody for coming out. Um, it's, it's actually amazing to see, right? But I know me and spoke about Forex. This is for my people who's already not in the business, right? Who, who again is not in the business? Because somebody's going to get started tonight. Who's not in the business? You, you want to put your hand up. I'm going to have to get started. You want to put your hand up. Who's not in the business? <laughs> All right, uh, everybody hear me? Yeah. Everybody yeah, good. Sir. My name is Chris, but I go by CJ, so everybody can call me CJ. Um, I was brought over here by my boy Ty Ray. Where you at? Right here in the side eye shirt. <laughs> and to be honest, man, he, he, he speak it up, man. And I was like, there's no way this could be possible, right? And he really like opened my eyes and believing in this because I really wouldn't have even thought this was possible because you see people making money. And I'm 18, so I see people making money. I'm like, there ain't no way these people making money. And it's like, you don't see what they're doing. So my boy, he told me about it. He told me about it a little while ago. And to be honest, I ain't had the money. I just got the money. And he talked about it on his uh, Instagram every single day, talking about, oh, man, y'all need to join before y'all miss this opportunity. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. And even though he's talking to everybody, I feel like he's actually talking to me. So <laughs> <laughs> like, it's popping up in my mentions, but I feel like you might as well be saying, CJ, you need to join right now. I've been telling you. So that's how I feel. And, uh, basically, I feel like uh, this would be a great opportunity just to learn, learn how to invest. Once I get some money, make that money work for me. Learn how to get some money, make it work for me. So right now, I'm 18 and I'm starting a, uh, a do rag and a bonnet uh, business right now. So if anybody needs a do rag or a bonnet, <laughs> you know, let me know. Mr. Mrs. Okay. And once I get that money to work for me, I want to be able to help people like my boy Tyree is helping me and how he over here helping everybody else. Because before this day, I wouldn't even have thought that people like him exist in order to make this money to be able to speak to everybody here in the first year of us with. But yeah, we sit and look at ourselves every day as if it's okay. Ask yourself right now, not even ask yourself, look at your bank account right now and ask yourself, are you in the position to not go hard in this opportunity? A lot of us act like we're just good. And I, and I mean, I'm not saying we're just broke, dirt, poor. No, I'm saying really look at yourself. Are you living the life that you want to live? Are you living to survive or are you living to live right now? That's really going to determine how you should go about this opportunity. And that's really what helped me. I realized that I wasn't really living to live. I didn't live the life I want to live. I was just living to get by. I woke up every day. I did the same thing every single day. I went to Walgreens literally at 11.50 p.m. every single night. I checked out at literally 7.59 a.m. every single day. And I did that every week for literally, I would say, about eight months. I used to get paid $300 every single Friday to work eight-hour shifts, freaking, freaking graveyard shifts, to get paid $300. Brandon told me about this opportunity. It's actually because Brandon didn't tell me about this opportunity, but he mentored me um, in the beginning. And at first, I'm like, I didn't really, you know, see the trading part. I just saw the comp plan. I said, that's all I needed. This is the last number before you activate, before you celebrate, before you commit, before you dedicate what you need to give to this opportunity to yourself so you can get to the next level, family. Because I guarantee the next time you see my face, I won't be at the same level. Mm -hmm, that's right. With that, the first rule of the trading plan is to relax. Um, so if you're writing notes, that's what I would write, relax. Um, and then in addition to that, I will write that trading is 90% mindset and 10% skill. Um, people think that trading is like this really complicated thing and it's actually not. We literally are predicting if it's going up and down or down. And so, um, but where the mindset part comes in is like the discipline to stick to your trading plan, having the discipline to, you know, close out and profit if you have reached, you know, a satisfactory amount of money, having the discipline 
to, you know, stop once you reach your trading goal for the day. Having a trading goal for the day. Trading within the session. Um, I'm trying to think, what else? Sticking to, you know, not trading indices when you don't have the appropriate account size. All these things go under mindset. And honestly, it's more that than anything else. The copying and pasting is easy. The strategies are there. The scanner is there. The products are there. So making the money, that's the easy part. But like I said, having that discipline to stick to the plan is what is challenging for a lot of people. And I realize that the hardest time for people to um, stick to the plan is when they're making money. Like when once you've seen results, once you've seen profit, when you're having that day where like, you know, you got all blue screens, those are the days when it's hardest to follow the trading plan. And those are the days when it's most important to follow the trading plan. So if you got in one trade and you have already exceeded your goal for the one day, not only do you, should you be not trading that day, you probably shouldn't be trading that week. So um, that's that. Again, 90% mindset, 10% skill. The second part to that that I always tell everybody, especially for my new family, trust your TP and your stop loss. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't care for the just speaking honor. Free for the fish, call me doctor. Switch from the sticks, I like water. Yeah.